it's in do you think that manifests itself in a business context have you noticed certainly there's hesitation when you think about privacy laws and there was even efforts in Italy I know to try and halt chat GPT generative AI how does that now that we've seen all these people who've grown up on this uh, these various TV shows in positions of power such as yourself how is that playing out first of all uh data privacy is very important in across many different markets it's not that because of one market has a loser uh, uh regulations uh, so that uh, the customers will be behave differently so it is uh, many markets have a similar stringency and when we take this uh data, data privacy very seriously so in in terms of some um uh, uh fast fast growing market they're willing to share to share so that because they understand that uh, willing to share that you might understand the customer better so to provide uh better products and service more tailored and then in some other markets we just need to make sure they can the customer can see the value what they will be getting before the customer is willing to share so i think at the end of the day the key is we how we uh, uh, make sure what we are doing is for the customer, and then when they see it, they will uh, behave uh, similarly. But one versus the other, one could see it in a, earlier than the other. You know, I want to step back philosophically. I'm intrigued by insurance in particular because it's about risk, and the more precise you're able to know me as a person, the more you're able to truly assess my risk. And then, but yet, insurance is about pooled risk, right? It's about basically, you know, you know me, but at the same time, um, if you specifically price insurance, then it can be quite a wide range of what you charge. How do you, how do you think we manage this tension between the whole pooled nature of insurance and the fact that the more specifically we know people, the more we can in fact discriminate? In pricing. Yeah, I, I think we do, sh we do need to know our customer better. It's uh, it's not necessarily always about pricing. It's about what we what kind of products we should be offering. We want to make sure the products is what you need. So without knowing right. better, it's very hard to say which, which product you need uh, uh, is better fit for you. And then as we get to know customer better, we are we have we have a new dynamics now. And uh, it's just to, by getting to know you, so then we can tailor services for you better. So we have a unit for, it's not only for retail, even for commercial. For example, we do have a risk engineer. We risk engineers to get to know our, of our commercial uh, clients better, so that we not only we provide a risk transfer mechanism, but we also help them, if it's a commercial building, for example, we will we'll try to look at, what what can we do things to to keep the uh, building safer? The fire regulations, if there's any hazard, we can help them to address them in advance. This is only through if we can know the client better. And for retail also, it's similar. If it's about household, we try to know the customer better. If there are tree scrubs around the house, there are different fire hazards. We want to know them the these manner so that we can help them to address some of the inherent risk uh, so that to protect their asset better. It's not always about just about pricing, but it's about many different aspects of our customer uh, life and their assets. So let me ask about, you've got multiple stakeholders and especially the role you're in, some of them are internal. Um, it's, it's the employees, it's the vendors. You know, is there any way in which, what would you say you're, maybe not most proud of, but what do you think you have shifted the most in terms of that experience? Of uh, which experience? To, so let's to take the employee them? experience and, and the vendors who work with you. We talk a lot about the customer, but you have many yeah. different stakeholders, especially when you're in a role where you're also dealing with the internal technology and digitization of the company. Yeah, uh, because we, we operate in a very, uh, wide footprint in many different markets. 
So, and, and our philosophy is more as an open uh, innovation philosophy. So we work with many different partners uh, openly. So, and as, uh, establish a, a, a company to very um, uh, uh, early stage uh, startup. Uh, so, and we, we uh, 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 every uh, one in between, and we are very excited, particularly is working with all the uh, insure tech startups. We have a very established program, uh, which is called Zurich Innovation Championship. And this is already the fourth round, fourth time. And uh, we just uh, announced the winner about two weeks ago. There were 3,500 uh, uh, startups has, uh, has, has applied for this uh, as part of this championship. And we have selected about 13 of them and of winners as across the globe and from US, from Canada. Uh, so any particular and, trends in who the top 13 were? Yeah, um, that actually is quite widespread. It's going from some of the very core to what we do, like uh, to what uh, the technologists do. It's like, uh, how do we handle data as we touch on this topic earlier? How do we handle data in a more uh, transparent and AI, uh, more explainable AI, fairness, robustness in our uh, machine learning model? That's a one end of the spectrum. To the other end of the spectrum, it could be a, uh, is a mental health platform. So using AI guide to listen and uh, provide um, a therapeutic support. So these are and coaching. And then some of it is uh, uh, is talking about even uh, using satellite imagery uh, to look at the risk of the different area landscape if there is any changing uh, um, in the whole area. So we know how to prepare that in advance to warn and work with our clients earlier. So there's many thing, many areas we focus on. We're particularly focusing on um, custom experience and also commercial insurance and then uh, digital enablement. So many areas we are, uh, uh, this three areas is some of the core focuses. But one commonality, I think, is many of them are all leveraging some kind of AI these days. 